Good morning everybody and once again welcome to the video. This video I'll be teaching you how to mount external hard disk or essentially SSD hard disk to your Elasticsearch cluster to increase your space. I just bought a one terabyte of hard disk uh, which cost me about $30. Now I'm gonna add a, a one terabyte uh, worth space to my Elasticsearch cluster that's running locally. So I'll, I'll be showing you how to do this. It's actually very easy. Um, so here is my hard disk that I bought uh, and I have connected to my computer. Uh, this is a Seagate hard disk, right? Uh, so I just want to show you that I have my Elasticsearch running locally and then I have my, um, so I'm, I'm doing cat nodes uh, disk available. It's showing me 219 GB, right? Now, uh, these are like advanced topic, right? Where you can essentially tweak RAM, JVM, you can mount an external hard disk and other stuff, right? So uh, what we need to do is first of all, in order to you know uh, make these changes, I need to stop my Elasticsearch uh, uh, server. So I'm gonna stop that, and then what I'll do is I'll head over to my E drive. So this is my uh, hard disk, right, uh, which has 916 gigabyte of space, which is where I want to uh, you know mount my data. So in the software, I made a directory called Elasticsearch. And this is the directory that I want my Elasticsearch to use as a data, right? I want all the data to be stored in this directory, right? So now what I'll do is uh, I'll go to Elasticsearch and then I'll go to Elasticsearch, then config, and then you, we will be heading over to the YML file. We'll, we'll click on edit, edit with Notepad++. Now here, uh, sorry if it's not visible, but uh, here you need to, uh, you can add multiple mount path, right? So if you have four, uh, one terabyte hard disk, you will have a four terabyte cluster, right? So I would uncomment this out, uh, control Q. And remember you have to use double slash, right? Uh, so make sure you add two slashes, uh, right? So I have done this, I'll close this. And now again, I'll open up my command prompt and I'll start my uh, Elasticsearch cluster. So uh, I have added that particular path, which is the path to my hard disk. And now uh, once the cluster starts, when I Kibana and I fire up, fire up that command, now it should show me uh, in theory 1.2 terabytes, okay? Because 200 GB um, of my computer, my laptop, and then I have mounted my external uh, hard disk, right? Which is about 916 gigabytes. So that should give me about a 1.2 terabyte worth of space, or, okay? So that's good. Now I'll just make sure that, uh, so it's still starting. So we'll just wait. Uh, yeah, it is still starting. Otherwise, because when I go to uh, localhost 9200, uh, it, it will give you like um, a JSON. This essentially tells you that, okay, your cluster is ready, right? So let's wait. Uh, it's still starting, I guess. So we'll wait. Yep, still starting. And I guess now it should start. Uh, so let's go here. All right, so I have it here, right? Now if I go and fire the same command, and as you can see, now I have 1.1 terabyte uh, space uh, on my uh, cluster that's running locally. So. Uh, you could easily mount as many hard disks that you have, right? Or SSD hard disk, just plug it into your server and have that path here, right? That way uh, you will essentially, you can increase your uh, total storage space of your Elasticsearch cluster. Now, I have been reading a lot of cool, amazing articles uh, where people were asking questions, for example, okay, if I have a multiple nodes, right? If I'm managing my L cluster, right? And if I have multiple nodes, and um, how can I uh, have a shared directory, right? So you can create an uh, NFS mount and then essentially uh, have that uh, path in both the Elasticsearch.yml file. But I hope this video uh, was um, you know, useful, short and sweet. Uh, just wanted to show you uh, the configuration. There are much more. We can tweak the JVM uh, heap. Uh, we can, we can uh, essentially do a lot of um, uh, other tweaks uh, right uh, on the YML file. But uh, this video is just for about mounting external hard disk to your um, cluster. Hope this is useful. And if you had any questions, leave your question in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it. 